One, two, three. We got him, boys. It is neutral. Quirky is a neutral nature. That is hella good. Also, why is my light off? I've just not realized. And it gets technician. Hell yeah, let's go. So where we left off, we're entering the gym. We got our Scyther out front, which has wing attack, which will ruin everyone in this gym's time. Um, it got technician and we're gonna have fun. Okay, that's, let's uh, give it a go. I don't remember how this gym works. We just walk into these. Oh, all right. Let's go. Colby, my choke, my choke, my choke. 23, 25, 27. Let's see how we do. One. So this is a 60 base power wing attack that because of technician, it's boosted back 1.5, 1.5 times. So it's 90 base, which then it is stab. So it is 135 and then it is super effective. So it is actually 270 base wing attack. Two, sorry, 270 damage wing attack from a scyther. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Easy. Royale with green. I do have to be careful of leveling up. This thing, the level cap is 32. We are 29, so we should have a good amount of time. This guy blocks me. I will strike a blow for hope with my fist. Hia hope. <laughs> Little extreme, but all right. Raphael. Are the rest of these guys Ninja Turtles too? Yeah, it did. Oh, I would shudder too if I had to face down a monster of a royal green. The level cap is 32, so we're still cooking. We're still cooking. Let's get it. I love to see it. Nice crit. So was that an extra two times? So base 540. No, it doesn't stand a chance. Does not stand a chance. Darren or Jeffrey? Come on, Darren. Hi, Darren. Okay. I don't know what this thing expects, but we're going to devastate it. <laughs> Adios. What are we even doing here? Oh, he blocks me. No. This is the guy with the hair across. This is Jeffrey. You know, there's four there's four trainers in here. It would have been really cool since one of them's named Raphael if the other ones were like Donatello, Leonardo, and you know what I mean? Or if they were the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That would have been sweet. Adios, Sarah Cross. Parting balloons. This thing did have counter, by the way, so that was a little bit scary, but like, nah. Not even worried about it. 
Take that, Jeffrey. Well, that's the gym trainers. Okay. All right, I think we're ready for the gym. Whew. Let's give it a go. Hi, Maylene. Here we go, boys and girls. Maylene leads with a Metatite. Drain Punch, Confusion, Fake Out, and Rock Tomb. Now, I don't know if you know anything about Purple Haze, but Purple Haze is mighty fast. Purple Haze has 100 special attack. Shadow Ball kills. Adios, Metatite. So switch into Machoke. Perfect. Machoke has Karate Chop, Strength, Focus Energy, and Rock Tomb. It's going to Rock Tomb us, but we should be able to survive a crit. So we Shadow Ball. This shouldn't kill, even if it's a crit. That was a lot of damage. So we should two-hit kill. But what we're going to do instead... Okay, it did lower our speed, so we do have to switch out, because now we are not faster, which, to be fair, I was already going to do that anyway. We switch into Nickel, because it's go Remember, the only move that it can hit us with is Rock Tomb, so it's either going to focus energy or Rock Tomb. So we switch into Nickel. Which this thing's so slow, I don't care if it does anything, so we should be fine either way. Is fighting good against Psychic? I don't think so. Fighting is not good against Psychic. Okay, so we should be okay. Uh, let me just check this. Karate Chop, Rock Tomb. Yeah, Karate Chop, even if it's a crit, will only do 54. So we fight, and we reflect. That was a crit. So our team's defense is now raised, and now we switch into Royal Green, which should be able to tank that like a boss. This is Quad Resist with Reflect. So let's turn one of Reflect. Now we just Wing Attack for the kill. One more. Lucario comes out. Lucario has Drain Punch, Metal Claw, Bone Rush, and Force Palm. What does Steadfast do, just so I remember? Increases the Pokemon's speed by one stage whenever it flinches. Okay, so don't flinch it, but I don't think I can, so. All right. So I think we just Wing Attack until uh, we can't do damage anymore, because it can't use Bone Rush because it doesn't affect us, and Drain Punch and Force Palm are quad, not very effective. This is, should be turn two of Reflect, or th three? One of the two. This isn't gonna do massive damage. Oh, or not, maybe at two kits. <laughs> and that is why Scyther is one of the best Pokemon you can use in a little lock, is because we don't even have to worry about Metaclaw attack raises. We got the perfect setup with switching into Reflect. That got us the amulet coin drop, so now we get double the money after the battle. That's Maylene, baby. Easy. Easy. All right. Cobble badge. Say it with me. Cobble, baby. Cobble, baby. Cobble, baby. Cobble. Let's go. Let's increase that level cap to 37. Hi, Dawn. All right. We got some, uh, we got some goons that stole my girl's Pokedex, all right? So we need to save that them their Pokedex from them goons. They stole her Pokedex. Let's go.
I wonder if she leads with Chimchar. That would be weird. Money is the root of all evil. Good call there, Pickle. All right, we fire Fang the Zubat. Smokey, did you, hey, Sickle, or Sickle, Pickle, I mean. <laughs> Pickle, did you know uh, that uh, Smokey is not spelled with an E? Smokey, the noun, like a name, is spelled with an E-Y, but Smokey, like the adjective, is spelled without an E, and E is the typical spelling. Isn't that neat? Okay, we now have to switch, because that's a that's a fighting type. Um, it has faint attack as well, so we don't want to switch into that. So I think we just switch into Cerulean. And you wonder why no one watches. Hey, you come here for hard-hitting facts like Smokey is sometimes spelled without an E. Nice! Clefairy, hello, what a bro. Putting that Zubat to sleep, okay. I like it. Revenging the Clefairy. Ooh, wow, that Clefairy is almost super dead. I guess we could peck for super effective damage, but is that more than Brine? <laughs> what is peck, base 80? If it's super effective, I think, maybe 70? And this is more. Oh, she switches out. Whoa, big brain. Let's go. Watch it pivot into faint attack. Also, people do watch. There's 830 f big subscribers. Um, I had a few shorts that got like 10,000 views like three or four days in a row. It was crazy. <sighs> okay, Bubble Beam will for sure kill this. Oh, yeah, I guess that'll just kill it for... Oh, nope, it's killing the Zubat. Okay. Smoke, eh? I do, I, we do got this. I sure hope so, because we're a, more than a few levels lower, so if we didn't got this, I would feel pretty ashamed with myself. Okay, Stunky. We're going to switch again into, let's see, what does it got? Furious Wives, Faint, Slash. Okay, we're going to, faint, faint is a dark move, right? That actually does something. Oh, it's a normal. Okay. So that can't hit us. Slash can't hit us. Infuri okay. I think we're going to switch to Midnight. Because I don't think the Stunky... I'm not risking that. I feel like this is giving me Goldeen vibes when we got our Geodude killed. We're just going to switch to Indigo. <laughs> nice. Kadabra coming in clutch. That's going to do nothing. Ain't no problem for the indigo. Is this taking a fiver? Fiver. There you go. We just dig. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Man, Kadabra with the screens. I love it. Audio Stunky. Probably has Aftermath, but we'll be okay. No Aftermath, I guess. Easy. Easy. We go south. Let's see. We did that. Now we got some 213 encounters. 213, 212, Great Martian Trophy Garden. All right, encounter time. Buizel. Hello, Buizel. Level 23. Got him. All right. The nickname theme is Colors. The Pokemon remind you of. Colors, the Pokemon remind you of. It is a sea weasel. Give me a nickname. For Buizel. We're gonna call her Pumpkin. Welcome, Pumpkin! That's how you spell pumpkin, right? Am I not am I brain dead? Pumpkin, yeah. Pumpkin! 
Welcome to the squad. Pumpkin. Jesus, sweetie. How can you hate that face? Oh, well, first off, let's check out our new encounter. Let's check out Pumpkin. Jolly. Plus speed minus special attack. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Plus speed minus special attack. All right, all right. I don't remember if it's attack or special attack is higher. I'm pretty sure it's attack is. Nice. That's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. So we got a jolly nature. We got swift swim, which is its only ability. So yeah, this is a this is a pretty good pumpkin. Welcome to the team pumpkin. I love you. I think we're just uh, getting a couple more encounters. So we got 213. We need to get 212. Our great marsh and our trophy count our trophy garden one. Um, I feel like you face your rival as you enter the gym. And so if that's not the case, then like, oh, hold on. I forgot this is here, by the way. Look at me. I'm a frog. Froggy, 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 froggy. Um, anyway, um, uh, what do I got? Okay, we got, ball. we got, we got plenty of balls. Okay. We are doing all right. We are out here living. Shellos is our encounter for 212. Um, so I feel like I should address this. I made a short and I released it like a week ago where I originally skipped the Route 205 encounter because Shellos with, what was the two abilities that it can have? Uh, Storm Drain, where water type moves are drawn to this Pokemon, doesn't work like that in Gen 4. It is significantly worse in Gen 4, which means we wasted our two and five counter for nothing. So in Gen 4, all Storm Drain Drain does is if you have if you're in a double battle and you have a guy with storm drain out water moves can only target it is basically it there's no special attack boost you're not even immune to water attacks storm drain in gen 4 sucks <laughs> so i just wanted to correct the record on that isn't that depressing so we wasted an encounter early on for no reason so cool I wish I could take vacations, but I'd have children instead. <laughs> Daycare is the my monthly expense that is vacation. <laughs> that that it that is how it be. Yes, it is indeed my choice, and I am glad that I made it. <laughs> uh give a nickname to Caught Shellos. Yes! Oh, I forgot. In the chat. Think of a nickname, nickname, theme, colors. So the nickname theme is colors. What colors does this Shellos remind you of? Okay, so we're going ocean blue. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> Welcome to the squad, ocean blue. Yeah, trophy garden. Perfect timing. Is there a Cyrus fight coming up? I don't think so. I think the next thing, so I think we go to Pistoria with the Great Marsh. Things happen there. We go back up to the Veilstone for the Galactic Building. Actually, if there is one, it's there, but I feel like there's one more plasma. I feel like there's one more plasma person to take on. We faced Mars and Jupiter, but I think there's one more. There's the guy with the Toxicroak, so I think he's there. I think we face him soon. If you want to love your toaster, you can do it. I mean, you can try, but just make sure it's not plugged in. That's too hot to handle. <laughs> okay, so Trophy Garden. We are during the day, so it's Pichu, Roselia, Staravia, and Pikachu. Pichu is our only encounter. So we face a Pichu. Boy, this thing has no moves, huh? Who doesn't like some bread? Pichu? Pikachu. Let's get going. Come on, give me something. Pichu! Hi, Pichu. Let's see if we can do it again. Ready? A one, a two, a three. 
Works every time. <sighs> Works every time. All right. What color does Pichu, the tiny mouse... Ooh, is napalm yellow? I don't know. That would be so funny. Harry Winkle's purple, my dudes. We're going with lemon. We're naming her lemon. <laughs> Welcome to the squad. <laughs> lemon. Hi, lemon. Don Lemon. Ooh, dandelion might have been good. Darn it. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> we're in heart home. Remember, we got fly, so we can fly. But we're going to check out our new additions to the squad here. Let's see. Uh, who is it? Pichu and who else? Oh, Shellos. Um, okay, ocean blue. This is docile, which means it is neutral nature. So that's fine. And it is Sticky Hold, which protects the Pokemon from item theft. So we didn't even get the ability that we would have wanted in the first place. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right, let's look at Pichu. Lemon is Brave, which is plus attack minus speed, which is about as bad as you can get. Um, so it's static. Boy, you hate to see that. Um... And it actually does not have Thunderbolt anymore. Or Thundershock anymore. Cool. Okay. So here's how the Great Marsh works. It's like the Safari Zone of this game, right? There's a bunch of different zones. Each, there are, what? One, two, three, six zones? There are six zones. And effectively, each of the zones... Each of the zones has, like, their own stuff that they can encounter, right? Generally, they're the same, but in each of these binoculars, there's, like, it displays the zone, and then, like, what... Like, what you can... En you might be in able to encounter, like, a, a specific Pokémon from that zone in there, you know what I mean? So you might be able to, like... One of them might have a higher chance of a Wooper or a Tangela or something else like that, right? So effectively, a lot of the stuff that we can counter here is mostly the same. We can't get Tropius, we can't get Bibarel, we can't get Quagsire. So we get one of three encounters. We either get a Wooper, which is the most likely, a Tangela, which is a 5% chance, or a Yanma, which is also a 5% chance. Uh, most of the time until we are in um, area six. I think one of them has like a higher percentage of something. So area three, area four have the higher chance of Tangela. Area five, area six have the higher chance at Yanma. Uh, this is not gen one, this is gen four. So Tangela involves into Tangle growth. So we do get, we can get a Tangela. We can also get a Yanma. Honestly, I'm good with any of them. Uh, I really don't mind. I just don't care about Babarel or the other one. The reason I don't really mind Yanma is because it probably, it can have a chance at speed boost, which is crazy. Um, so like, I think I realistically want the Tangela. Um, because, with hopefully chlorophyll. Because um, that would make this thing un freaking believable. I think I'd want Tangela. So if we can get a Tangela, that's like the goal. So we're going to see what we got. Tangela. Okay, so we're going to... Uh-oh. I'm going to have to take screenshots. Couple of these with crow gunks. I'm gonna have to put that again. Nope. Okay, so I got some screenshots. <laughs> Two of those had Tangela's in it, so I think I'm going to go there to try and found him. We're getting stuck in the mud, by the way. That's what we're doing. Okay, so this is right where one of the pictures was. I don't know if it, you can remember, but it was right here. 
Come on, Tangela. Quagsire, that is not a valid encounter. Come on, Tangela. Krogunk. Krogunk is our encounter. So now we need to catch it. <laughs> um, how did you split your screens on Desmume? You mean for like the overlay? I assume. I just did two screen captures and I just cropped the, the bottom one out for the top and I cropped the top one out for the bottom. That's literally all I did. Very simple, very simple uh, sort of solution on that one. Give it a little bait. Well, we just lost our encounter. Cool. I just want to see if it would have been a tangle, tangle, tangle next. Nope, would have been a whooper. Okay, well. That sucks. Can I exit? Okay, so now we got, I'm pretty sure it's a rival battle. Man, all of that talking and all that everything just to like get pwned was <laughs> pretty underwhelming. I'm not going to lie to you. And now we miss out a potentially good encounter. Yeah, so basically what happened is how the safari zone works. It's different from everything else in the game, right? So like you go to a zone, try to catch a Pokemon. Because we're playing a Nuzlocke, we have to we have to catch the first Pokemon that we encounter that's valid. Um, like if we have a dupe, we can't catch it. If it's an Evo, we can't catch it, etc. So like we found a Crow Gunk, which means that has to be our encounter. And so what happens in the Safari Zone is you can either throw mud at it, which should make it angry, which increases its chance to run away, but like makes it easier to catch. Or you can throw bait at it which makes it easier to stay, but I think also makes it less likely to catch. In basic, or you can just throw balls at it until you catch it. And so I threw bait at it and it immediately ran away, which means we lost our encounter. That's basically what happened. Isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, so I think we have a rival battle coming up here. So we're gonna face our rival and then we're gonna do stuff for the gym. <laughs> 